two teams from the NL. It's the Colorado Rockies against the New York Mets. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. We'll see a tremendous pitcher in Clayton Kershaw. He goes to the mound looking to bring his team a win. City Field in New York is our site for this ball game. And I'm Gary Thorne with John Crook and Steve Phillips. Welcome, Major League Baseball 2K Sports. Here's a look at the Mets starter. And Steve, he gets into this Colorado lineup now. What are we going to see? Now this right-hander has quality stuff. and doesn't really matter oftentimes who he's facing. If he executes his pitches and pitches his game, he's got a chance to come out on top. Let's take a moment here to look at the Rockies lineup. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, anytime you have a young player who stepped up to be a leader like Buster Posey has done, you have something very, very special. The guy can do a lot of things on a baseball field. What I like, though, is his ability to hit the ball the other way and hit it with power. So many young players, when they came up, they think they have to pull everything in order to produce power, but not Buster Posey. Takes what the pitcher gives him and delivers. Play ball! It's Hanley Ramirez. He'll lead off. Well, Rockies won their last game. Really looking strong here going into the third game of the four-game series against the Mets. Ball. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Well, you take a look at the last one. It was a long, long wait to finally find some offense to get it done. Well, and this was a bad, bad feeling for the hometown fans. Very big heartbreak after such a hard-fought oh, ball game. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. and He's got a 296 career batting average against the Mets. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. Now it's a good look here at the Mets. Here's their defense. Particular standouts here, John? Well, the excitement that Jose Reyes brings to a ballpark, everyone thinks it's just offensively, but defensively, he can be a lightning rod, too. He can cover so much ground as far as pop-ups go behind him, but he's also great with a strong throwing arm at turning the double play. The pitch. Goes back on that curveball. Takes a strike on one. A shot up the middle. Played by Reyes. So McCutcheon is sent down. These were the hitters with the most home runs around the league last year, courtesy of State Farm. Well, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. And it's Joey Votto with the plate. One away. And, and as great a season as Joey Votto had during the regular season in 2010, he has to feel like he could have done a lot more in the postseason. Perhaps 2011, he'll get that opportunity. Plays off that one inside, ball one. One of the things that happen when you Joey Votto having a great year, pitchers don't want to throw to you. He was only one for ten, three games and an RBI in the postseason. You know, I think what happens is you get in the playoffs, you all, everybody tries a little bit harder rather than just keep doing what you've been doing all season long. That's just about maturity. They'll be better next time around, and certainly Votto will as well. The one-one. Changeup misses, and it's two and one. He hit 333 last year against the Mets at City Field. The 2 1 pitch. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. Two down. Now the runner will have to hold at second. A look at the Mets' upcoming schedule. It's Colorado series ending tomorrow. They'll go up against the Braves for a little division rivalry. A team that will definitely give them a competitive series. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Following that, they'll have to deal with Lance Berkman. The Astros come into town. That should be a great series. They really match up well. Here's Carlos Gonzalez now. The RBI, maybe. Uh, coming off a good ball game last night. Picking up two hits in that one.
Runner on second and two outs. Ball. Fastball misses away. 1-0. and oh. A great movement on that two-seam fastball. Trying to start it on the corner. Running it off the plate. The hitter just laid off. It's hit foul by foul. Gonzalez. Here's the delivery. Right. Swing and a miss in the slider. One and two. Well, a great pitch right there. Threw him that slider and hit her just out in front of it. Swung early. Came up empty. It's hit foul by Gonzalez. Here's a spin and a throw back to second. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. And the Mets their first chance coming up. Here's a look at Colorado's starter for this game. And Steve, uh, as we focus on these Mets hitters, how does he see them? Well, Clayton Kershaw has unhittable. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And he tracks that one down. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, Jose Reyes, to me, is one of the most exciting players in baseball. He can win a game with you without even getting a hit. He walks, he can steal second, steal third, score on a ground out or a sack fly. Plus, he plays some of the best shortstop and most athletic shortstop you will see in the game of baseball today. Jose Reyes is going to be a star in this game. Now let's take a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. And uh, scouting those fielders, John. Well, Joey Votto came into his own as a hitter, and now he's starting to come into his own as a defender. Great glove work around the base, good athleticism, not afraid to throw the baseball to him. And you're a first baseman, you can make throws. That's just an asset to your team. One out, base is empty. Line towards second, and Ugla picks it up. Oh. And Reyes is set down. Let's take a brief look here at the Mets and how they ranked in the National League last season. First in stolen bases, second in triples, and for the hits numbers, well, they didn't quite have the numbers you want there offensively, which really leads to some questions about their offensive production and how many runs they can score. Two outs, space is empty. And Kershaw, too high. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Here it comes. Ball. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. shot towards the hole wide throw can't get him at first base well two quick outs in the inning you think maybe this is one of those quick innings and the other team gets in and they get some momentum but he keeps the inning alive with that base hit strawberry in the batter's box only one batter gets walked more than he does in this lineup two outs and a man on first pitch on the way First pitch fastball misses badly that time, 1-0. Now, Gary, what he understands is the best way to get on isn't necessarily to swing your way on. Sometimes you have to take pitches to be a better hitter. The 1-0 pitch. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away, 2-0. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. That one gets through for a base hit. Make sure to catch this one next Tuesday. It's going to be Vladimir Guerrero and the Washington Nationals as they take on the Cardinals in St. Louis. Start time is 8 o'clock Eastern. A chance to watch two good teams matching up in that one, Gary. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be Hernandez.
Two down. Runners at first and second. Ball one. And Kershaw's wide that time. Four ball. At the belt, the 1 0. Ball two. That's outside. Ball two. three and all now a lot of managers are hesitant to turn their guys loose three and all but I say let it fly this might be the best pitch he sees in the whole at bat here's the pitch and ball that four. misses ball four he has loaded him up he goes for the fastball on the three ball count which is what he should do here be aggressive but he throws it out of the zone and now base is loaded in the batter's box it's Kingman Steve, we talk about game-turning situations. This is one of them. No question about that. Things can change completely right here. Bases are loaded with two down. Watch as a changeup go by for strike one. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that changeup away. And the 0-1 by Kershaw. Oh, oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. Ball There's a swing, line drive, center field. And there's McCutcheon, out number three. So they pick up two hits in the inning, but leave the bases loaded. Still scoreless in New York. A crisp night here at City Field. A bit chilly. Those uh, hand warmers being utilized in the bullpens. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Ball. And Carlos Gonzalez looks at that one for a ball. That'll even up the count. Well, that's where you look for a changeup from the pitcher away in the strike zone. And if they look for it and get it, they can really shoot that thing the other way and do some damage. Oh. That's taken low for a ball, two and one. Here's the two one. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. Here he comes, 3-1. And with that pitch, he allows that leadoff runner on, free pass. Boy, how many times have we seen the leadoff walk come around to score? A lot. That's going to bring up Buster Posey. I'm going to take a peek back to last season for Carlos Gonzalez. Here's how he ranked. First in batting average, first in hits, and he was second in triples. That ability to think three out of the batter's box. When he hit the ball in the gap, he was hustling all the way, and the third base coach waved him around. The runner on first, no outs. Posey gets the bat on it. The second, there's one. And two, double play. A beautiful looking double play right there. A pitcher's best friend. And that shortens the inning, shortens the number of pitches that have to be thrown. It's all about defense. Harper up at the plate. Base is empty with two outs. Cut on and missed as he was loading up, 0-1. You know, I'd actually sit on this guy's curveball. It's an exceptional pitch, but it's his go-to pitch. You can predict when he's going to throw it, and maybe you're going to have a shot. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. 
It is that great curveball. It also makes his fastball and changeup a little bit more effective, uh, but the curve's the one. Well, he has that assortment of pitches, which oh. makes any pitcher effective, especially with that big break and curveball. You're going to have to look for the curveball to be able to hit it. And he looks at a fastball that's in there. Side retired. Three up, three down this half inning. The Rockies still looking for a run. And the cleanup man stands in. He'll start the home half of the second. Kershaw with the windup. Can't get him to chase that one outside. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. Oh, That's off the plate and low to an 0. Oh. Well, you got to like the way he's changing speed and mixing up his pitches. He just missed, though, with that changeup down and away. Two zero on the way. Oh. Fastball misses high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Pitch in the dirt, blocked by the catcher. Ball four, he walked him. Well, he didn't want to lay it right down the middle, but he misses with this one low, and now he's walked him on four pitches. He's got to settle down. Let's take a look at the teams who led in stolen bases last year, brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Mets. Second, the Padres. The Nationals third. Fourth, the Phillies. It's the Astros, number five. Well, Gary, you talk about putting pressure on the opposition. This team last year was number one in stolen bases in the league. And when they get on base, a lot of things happen. You make the ground ball right. He snares it. Ramirez for one and two. They got both of them that time. It's Kent at the plate. Base is empty and two down. Kershaw with a windup. Hit in the air to left center. And Gonzalez. And that's out number three. That's called short work of three. Took six pitches. Still scoreless in New York. Pedro Alvarez is our leadoff batter. Strike First one. pitch, a big breaker for a called strike. Ball. Pedro Alvarez is going to let that one go by to even the count. I saw the ball well last night, picking up two base hits in that game. Alvarez grounds it, and Reyes picks it up, retiring Alvarez. Here's how the Eastern Division standings look in the very early going now, courtesy of State Farm. First place, the Marlins. In second place, it's the Phillies. Third place, the Mets. In fourth place, it's the Braves. And the bottom dwellers, the Washington Nationals. Sandoval at the plate. Well, after an unbelievable 2009 season, Everyone thought that Pablo Sandoval was going to hit third in the Giants lineup and produce runs year in and year out. 2010 was a struggle, so much so that the last month of the season he rarely played as the Giants made their trek toward the postseason. I think he's going to rebound, though, in 2011 and put up another good year. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. Two away. And a brief look here at the Rockies and how they ranked in the National League last season. First in triples, second in slugging percentage, and as a team, they can put the ball in play, ranked third overall in batting average, really showing that ability and the depth of that lineup to hit for a high average.
strike Here's one. the pitch. Fastball in there, 0-1. Batting average for him, we look at last year, it was just 2-11 against the Mets when they played here in New York. And here's the delivery to right center, and that puts Ugla on first. So that brings up Hanley Ramirez. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And with the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Two outs and a man on first. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Plays off a called strike, 0-1. They had two hits in the game last night, looking to add to that today and trying to contribute to his club's success. Here's the pitch. Oh. Ugly pitch. Catcher able to somehow scoop that out. Comes set, now the 1-1. Swung on, line to right field. And that one is in there, his second hit today. So with that, let's see what Andrew McCutcheon can do with it. He's at the plate. Oh, this is great patience at the plate. He lets the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way, as he just did. Ramirez takes his lead at first. Douglas, the runner, at second. Get the new count on McCutcheon. Here it comes. Lays off that one. Outside edge, and it's a strike. Nine hits, 25 ABs last season off the Mets. He delivers. Strike two. That's a strike. It'll take the count to 0-2. Andrew McCutcheon now. Have to be careful not to get K'd here. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right at him. Foul! Swung on and fouled away. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side's retired. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. Still scoreless in New York. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. It's going to be Wilson now. He'll start things off for the home team. We're in the third. Here's the first pitch. And Kershaw, too high. Now the 1-0 pitch. Wilson, he takes that one. It's in there. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. 1-1 pitch. A ball there as Kershaw misses. We started the curveball away, and it broke further away just off the plate. Now the 2-1 pitch. That one's drilled to short. And it's caught by Ramirez. Now State Farm takes a look at who had the most triples last year. Number one, Jose Reyes. Second is Carlos Gonzalez. Third, Matt Kemp. Fourth spot held by Ryan Howard. And sitting number five, it's Andrew McCutcheon. I'll tell you what, speed puts so much pressure on the defense. And these guys can certainly do that as they force the other team to quickly make decisions and make plays and try to shut down a running game. One out, nobody on. Kershaw with a windup. Oh, that uh, one's low as Reyes lays off it. Well, Jose Reyes is one of the most exciting players in baseball, but he has to stay on the field. A history of leg problems, 2010, he missed time early in the season, and then late in the season, he missed some time also, but he still put up pretty good numbers. Needs to be healthy, though, ball. if his team's going to win. Low pitch, Kershaw for a ball. Jose Reyes with that great speed. 30 stolen bases. 
you have to wonder, the thyroid issues he struggles with, are they going to keep him on the bench? Well, he made the all-star team again. It looks like they got the thyroid under control. I think the big question is, can he keep his legs healthy? Because that is the name of his game. He needs to run. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And McCutcheon gloves that one. With the season just underway, State Farm gives us a look at the standings for the Western Division. First place, the Dodgers. D-backs in second place. Rockies in the third spot. Giants in the fourth spot. And rounding out the list, the Padres. Piazza at the plate now. He had a single in his last time up. Two outs, bases empty. First pitch on the way. Ball! And Kershaw's wide that time. Four ball. The 1-0 now. Inside with the fastball, 2-0. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. Now the 2-0. That swung on and a liner here. Makes its way through for a single. Well, the last thing you want to do is have a quick inning. That two-out hit right there will prolong the inning. Great piece of hitting. Strawberry is up now. He's one for one so far. Runner on first, two away. On the way. Ball. Way out there with the curveball, 1-0. Him to bite on that pitch that was away evens the count at one. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down and away. Slider can't find the zone. Two and one. Fastball called strike two. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. And that one's put away to retire the side. Another nice inning. Good work by Clayton Kershaw. He continues to dominate through three innings of work. And next, it'll be the Rockies getting it going. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball, I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And Joey Votto's up. In 21 at-bats last season, very good eight hits off the Mets. The pitch, 0-1 pitch, a fastball, swung out and missed, 0-2. Look, Gary, the way this is going so far in the fourth, I mean, they do have three hits. Uh, so they've had a couple of base runners, but I think that because they're not mounting hit after hit, they may have to put some plays on to get the runners moving. Oh! Vado fouls it away. Oh, Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's 1-2. Here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Got him to chase that ball down and away. Good pitch. Not real good execution by the hitter. One away, and here's Carlos Gonzalez. He's got the most hits in this team's lineup.
Lined up the middle. Picked up by Kent. So Gonzalez is set down. Nice, easy, soft ground ball to second. Doesn't have any trouble at all with that one. And retires him at first base. Here's a look at the teams that uh, drummed up the extra base hits last year. Our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the D-backs. Second, the Reds. Third spot, the Brewers. The Rockies fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded out. Well, the bottom line is, as a hitter, you want to put yourself in scoring position any chance you can. Well, this team does it as good as anyone in the league at extra base hits. Seems like every time you look up, there's someone in scoring position making the pitcher work and the defense work extremely hard. First pitch was a strike, 0-1 now. And in this matchup, lifetime, 375 off the Mets. Here it comes. Watches that one for a called strike. Nothing in two. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Pitch on the way. And Kent picks it up. He'll throw one to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. Still scoreless in New York. It's going to be Hernandez. He'll lead it off here, bottom half of the fourth. And he got good wood up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Hernandez. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. No one out and a runner on first. Now the first pitch. And Kershaw's pitch looked at it. First strike, 0-1. Oh now the big breaking ball away. Got up, got the outside corner for strike. And he swings and hits this one foul. He got the bat on that one, and Gonzalez is there. One away. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Rockies. This New York series ending tomorrow. They'll head home to go against the Cubs. Great series there. That's a three-game series. Then they stay home for the next series, San Francisco Giants. So a lot of home games on the way. The fans will have a chance to see their guys many times over the next couple of weeks. In the box now, number five spot. Well, Clayton Kershaw's a strikeout pitcher. When you look at what he possesses, a great above-average fastball and a great breaking ball, and he's learning a changeup. Once he commands that pitch, he might be unhittable. And you can put him in a class with Lincecum and Halliday. Runner at first with one down. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Clayton Kershaw, uh, don't be fooled by the 13 and 10 record. He is better than that. As the Dodgers can get a few runs, Steve, he's going to win a lot more games. Well, runs in the bullpen did not support him all that well in 2010 either. He's going to learn to go deeper into the game as he gets a little bit more efficient with his stuff because if he does that, there's no stopping him. Ground ball up the middle. He grabs it off the hop. There's one. And the deuce, a double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Defense getting the job done. Scoreless City Field. We'll have the six, seven, and eight hitters coming up next. Harper batting now. 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch, here it comes. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Gooden. And that'll bring to the plate Pedro Alvarez. The smart hitter, before he steps in the batter's box, checks the corner infield, where they're playing, how close they are. And if he sees bunt, you got to be ready when you get your pitch to deliver. Good piece of hitting. Runner 
on first. He deals. And this is inside, and that hit him hard. Is it intentional? Is it not intentional? We'll never really know, because nobody will admit it. The one thing we do know, the fastball can hurt. We will now see in this key moment, Pablo Sandoval. Well, Gary, that hit battle we just saw, now two runners on base. A little rally starting here, and maybe the pitcher getting a little bit rattled. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way to send. Headed for the middle. Oh, off the pitcher. Wow, that was a hot shot. And he couldn't get out of the way. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs on to it. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. Runners on second and third, one down. They don't want to get near the strike zone with this guy at the plate, so he's going to get on to first freely. In this situation, they decided to play it safe. It's the right move, especially with the way he's swinging the bat. So that will put Hanley Ramirez at the plate. And he'll be swinging with the bases loaded. But Gary, they got a big opportunity now to take the lead in this situation. Bases are loaded here with only one away. The pitch. Swings a little early that time. 0-1. They need more offense right now, Gary. I mean, you know, only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game, heading into the later part of the game. I mean, they need to give themselves some opportunities to score runs. Patience at the plate. Get somebody on. Strike two. Uh, strike, and Ramirez is going to have to be careful here of the K. Tough spot for the hitter. Down 0-2. you got to protect right now. Fastball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. And Hanley Ramirez comes up empty with that swing. Strike three, he's down. Well, he keeps the runners right where they are, so now he's just an out away from working his way out of danger and keeping this game tied. State Farm brings us a look at the slugging percentage leaders from last year. Joey Votto, number one. Second is Carlos Gonzalez. Third is Albert Pujols. Troy Tulowitzki, fourth. And Adam Dunn is number five. Boy, it's such an asset to an offense when you hit the ball out of the ballpark, and these guys are clearly so important to their teams. That ability to drive in a run from first base or to drive yourself in from the plate. He's there to retire the sun. Will they pick up no runs? One hit and strand a couple. Still scoreless in New York. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. Leadoff hitter David Wright. Wright gets set. Here's the first pitch. A fly ball. And it drops the base hit. Let's take a quick look at David Wright's season last year. Third in batting average with runners in scoring position. Fourth in doubles. He was also ranked in the top five in stolen bases. Pitchers know when he gets on, he's a threat to run. And he gets the hitters behind him in the lineup some fastballs to hit. Wright's on at first. Kent in, first pitch. Ball. And Kershaw's wide that time, four ball. Well, if he wants a strikeout, he's going to the curveball. It's one of those ones he could break down in the dirt. He gets so many swings on it, but he's got to trust his catcher. Go 
Here's the 1 0. That's a called strike on the outer half, 1 and 1. We don't see many pitchers, Steve, what we're talking about here, where their best pitch is that big breaking curveball. Well, I tell you, that's why they teach young kids in the minor leagues. They teach all of them how to throw a curveball because it is a put away pitch. And here's the delivery. There's a swing and a miss at the fastball. It's one and two. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. Two, two. Curve the misses. Three and two. We went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. The three, two pitch. Oh, my. That one came inside and plucked him. You can't dig in at the plate because sometimes it gets away from the pitcher. You have to be able to move. He couldn't get out of the way there. It's going to be Wilson now. 0 for 2 thus far. A couple guys on right now, Gary, with speed at second base. We'll see if they try to put pressure on them and try to start both runners. If they throw them out at third, they'll still have a man in scoring position. Otto over there. He'll have to stay tight. Throw will pull him off the bag. He is safe at first. Oh, bad grab. See, we talk about game-turning situations. This is one of them. No question about that. Things can change completely right here. Bases are loaded and nobody out. Posey calls for the pitch. Reyes hits this one down. He's up with it. That's one out. And they'll get the double play. Ramirez there to finish that. And here's the first run of the ball game. They jump out to the lead. Well, here's a double play that looked like they ordered up. Great turn and throw at second base. He was ready to make the play. An example of a nicely executed double play. And on third, two down. First pitch. And Kershaw's wide that time. Four ball. And here's the pitch. Swing and a liner to left. And in there, the Mets will pick one up. He's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. Strawberry at the plate now. Well, they definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. Here, we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up and get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead? Fastball just misses. 1 0. Steve, exactly right. You've got to believe what they're thinking about is put away time now. Well, that's right. It's not just about the offense, it's going to be about their pitching as well. They're going to win as a team or lose as a team. Let's see if they can win as a team. Ready with a 1 0. Lined hard down the left field line. And in there, he's two for three today. This a great situation for some offense. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. Two men on and two men out. And the first pitch, swing and a line to left. 
And Gonzalez is there to retire the side. Yes, the batting lineup has awakened as they're able to get some runs across. The New York Mets have the lead, two to nothing. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. And Joey Votto to lead it off. The pitch misses high and outside, 1-0. and Well, he's doing an outstanding job keeping this offense off the board. And Zano's had a handful of base runners so far in this one. The four runners left on base, but, you know, they've been able to make pitches and make plays when they needed to. The 1-0 pitch. Votto fouls it away. Swing and a hot shot. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. And that'll bring Carlos Gonzalez up. Looking back to Joey Votto's numbers last year, let's see how he ranked in comparison to others. First in on-base percentage, first in slugging percentage, and just edged out in the batting title, second in the league in hitting. A tremendous season putting the ball in play. He can really hit for a high average. Runner on first base, nobody out. Pitch on the way. Right the 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. Here it comes. Right Got him swinging with that curve. One ball, two strikes. Gonzalez watches it low for a ball. The one-two pitch. And Carlos Gonzalez looks at that one for a ball. That'll even up the count. Now having some difficulty commanding that two-seam fastball. You don't want to throw that pitch up and in. That's a ground ball pitch. Not a ball you want to get a fly ball on. The 2-2 pitch. There's a bullet towards third. It's a fair ball headed into the corner for extra bases. Time to capitalize for Colorado right now. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat, and he did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. Two men in scoring position, still no one out. Here's the pitch to Posey. And that runs high, 1-0. and His average last year, big time, 375 against the Mets. A 1-0 now. Swing and a miss. Buster Posey can't make contact. It evens the count. Some guys throw in. Some guys pitch in. He pitched in right there to get the strike. Now let's see if he pitches away. Here's the 1-1 pitch. He's hacking at the ground on that one. That ball is a strike. One two pitch coming. Strike three. That's it for Buster Posey's AB. He's gone with other swings. You got a second now to see the four seam fastball in KK. That ball just sailed up and away from the hitter. I think he was looking for something a little bit outside. Yeah, he just did catch the outside corner. 
Probably should have tried to dive at that pitch and hit it the other way. Harper up at the plate. Big things can happen anytime he steps in that batter's box. Gonzalez is the runner at second. On at third is Votto. He delivers. Oh, Fastball on. taken high. 1 0. Pauses, and now the 1 0. Oh, That's off the plate inside, and it's 2 0. Well, anytime you have first base open, if you don't need to just throw anything over the plate, be careful with him. If you walk him, you're walking. Now the 2-0 pitch. Fastball can't catch the corner. He's behind 3-0. He gets that fastball. Can't make contact. 3-1. And the change floats in there, three and two. A very effective pitch. The change up painting the outside corner. Now you can go back hard in or go soft away again. The three two pitch. And that misses. Ball four. Now you got the sacks full. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats, get that pitch count up. And I tell you what, he worked this pitcher. It's, it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches. Well, all eyes right now on the pitcher and whether he can get out of this jam. You know, he's in all kinds of trouble here, Steve. He does have a two-run lead, but uh, he's got some problems. Well, so many guys are afraid to walk a batter in this situation and that they end up giving up the grand slam. He has to stay aggressive. Make his best strike pitches one. in the strike zone. Work ahead. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. Okay, with that walk, they put the go-ahead run on base with one out in this inning. You've got to be careful right here. Try to get a double play ball. Here's the pitch. Oh, Pedro God. Alvarez. Going to let that one go by to even the count. And Steve, uh, you wonder here uh, what he was thinking. Maybe a little too fine just because he had an opportunity to be ahead. Well, that's what it was. Trying to be a little too perfect on the corners. Be aggressive. Work ahead in the count. And keep it in the ballpark. I'm not going to go after that curveball, but it's in the zone. One ball, two strikes. Well, this lineup really making him work in this inning deeper into the game. And this is where you're a little bit fatigued. And boy, throwing up over 20 pitches in inning is tough. Fastball got him two down. Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. Well, Pablo Sandoval out there right now. Look at that look of determination in his eyes. He clearly wants to come up with a big hit. Steve, you're going to like the odds right here. You get that base hit, and all of a sudden, this game changes. Now, if he hits one over the ball, too, it completely changes the complexion of this game. They've had to battle back. Here's a chance to get the lead. Two outs, bases loaded. First pitch on the way to Sandoval. That one swung on its line. And it's caught. The play by Hernandez. So they can't push across any runs. They've been shut out through the first six. Shut out. Ongoing City Field. In the batter's box, it's Kingman. He'll lead it off. Home half. We're in the sixth. Posey calls for the pitch. Here's one pop foul to short right. Foul! And the 0-1 by Kershaw. Oh! Oh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher. Kept it in front of him. Here's the pitch. Curveball just off the black, and it's two and one. He went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Two one pitch. There's a swing, fly ball down the line and left. And Gonzalez. 
And he's able to put it away. Number three slot up again here. 0 for 1 thus far. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Oh. And Kershaw, too high. One zero on the way. Oh. Down and in for ball two. That's high for a ball, and it's 3-0 and now. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. Strike Got him to chase ball four and puts the count to 3-1. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. He deals. Hit sharply towards the hole. Oh, and he steps on first. That's the second out. Right into the batter's box. Seven ABs. He's picked up one hit off Kershaw. Two outs and nobody on. Right, get set. Here's the first pitch. Strike one. And Kershaw's pitch. Looked at it. First strike, 0 1. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. Ground ball right. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Though so Clayton Kershaw gets on. That's a one, two, three. He's pitching well and deep into this ball game, but they trail. And next, it'll be the Rockies getting it going. And it's Dan Ugla to lead it off. Locked in his last plate appearance. First pitch to Ugla. Oh, and he lays off one low, one and oh. But Gary, listen, he's he's made pitches. He's had they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. They've got a few hits, but he's not he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. In there at the letters, evening the count, one and one. Good pitchers change the hitter eye level. You go down low, then you run the fastball up high. A lot of times they just look at it, go by. That big breaker gets by, and the count goes to one and two. Strikes him out. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. One out. Hanley Ramirez is up. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. To left center. That gets down. The tying run coming up. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Hey! 
It's nice to have somebody coming off the bench that can run a little bit. He can come in and pinch run, or he can get a rally started and potentially score a big run in a situation. Well, since taking over full-time, Matt Kemp in 2010 saw his on-base percentage at the lowest it's ever been in his career. But I really think, though, that this guy can be an absolute star in baseball once he sets his mind to it. But the mind has to be right. If it is, he's going to take off. 1-0 count. He took that last one, and it was out of the zone. You guys talking about Matt Kemp, it's tough looking at a season like he had where all the numbers dropped. John, the on-base percentage you mentioned was just 310. Well, you know what? The strikeout rates went up as well, and his stolen base success rates went down. To me, that points to instinct. Here's a guy who was a big basketball player, now an athlete playing uh, baseball, but I think he lacks some of the instincts to be successful and make adjustments. Hit in the air to center field. Wilson will field. And he grabs it in his tracks. Now he's been having this lineup guess the entire game right now. He's out thinking them and out pitching them. He's continuing to be sharp the entire game. Here's Joey Votto. With good speed now at first base, Gary, they're going to have to at least keep an eye on him. Even though they've got the lead, they've got to watch him because they might try to steal to get back into this game. And Votto lets it go outside for a ball. They went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Here's the 1-0. Fastball low, 2-0. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That'll do it as they put that one away. Like Gary, he's in absolute control out there right now. And I have to suspect they're going to leave him in as long as he can go, as long as the pitch count doesn't get too high. Mets still protecting this lead. End of the order, ready to do some work at the plate. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch on the way. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. As he retreats back for it and gets the out. It's going to be Wilson now. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. Base is empty with one away. And here's the first one. Ball. Low pitch, Kershaw for a ball. Here's the pitch. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Wilson, he takes that one. It's in there. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. The two and one offering from Kershaw right swings on that fastball, misses it two and two. Apparently, he's looking for something a lot harder than that four seam fastball. I don't know what else he has because he's way out in front. Two two pitch ball. outside for a ball and it's full three and two. Yeah, that's one up. And here is the three two. That's foul back behind the plate. Oh. 
Posey calls for the pitch. Fastball in there, struck him out, out number two. Well, that's paint in the black right there. He just throws it to the outside corner exactly where they wanted to get the punch out. Base is empty and two down. First one to Reyes. Here's the pitch. And Kershaw's pitch. Looked at it. First strike, 0-1. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. On the way. Back up the middle. Jose Reyes, one of the more exciting players in the game. Let's take a look last season and see how he ranked. First in triples, third in stolen bases, and he got the job done on the clutch. One of the elite hitters hitting in the clutch in the top 15 in batting with runners in scoring position. You love that sort of patience and confidence he had to drive in big runs. Up, is up now. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Two outs and a man on first. And here's the first one. And swing and a miss on Billingsley's pitch 0 and 1. The best pitch in baseball is the fastball down and away. And if you can execute it, you can be very effective. That's why he got the swing and the miss. And here's the delivery. Well, that's right down Broadway, 0-2 now. Look for the pitcher to try to expand the strike zone here. The hitter has to swing at anything close. Ball one. That's in the dirt, he traps it. that low outside corner or even a two now he didn't chase that one that pitch down and away good movement on the cut fastball he just laid off of it it's a pitch with two strikes you better be swinging at though taps this one foul to the right now the two two this one's bounced ever so slowly to left foul. Well, he's doing everything he can to stay alive on this 2-2 count. A nice defensive swing. Make sure he just got enough of the bat on it. Hits it foul. Now let's see where it goes from here. And that misses ball four. Well, you know, the pitcher's really tired right now, and you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken. That long at bat right there, he had a chance to put the hitter away, and now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand. The fans are buzzing with anticipation. They understand this is a turning point in the game. Two for three thus far. Two down. Runners at first and second. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Okay, they're going to need to try to keep Reyes close over there. He's got real quickness. And the first pitch. And Billingsley's pitch looked at for a strike 0 and 1. Pitching coaches love it when you can throw it down and away consistently. He got it done right there. Here's the pitch. 
This one swung on and driven hard. Kemp will field. And that one's put away to retire the side. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave two on. The Mets, two. Colorado, nothing. Cleanup up batter. Do up next. And Carlos Gonzalez to lead it off. One for two in the ballgame. Here's the pitch. Played by Reyes. So Gonzalez is set down. A masterful performance out there today. They've not been able to get any sort of offense going. And I'll tell you what, he's going to make people notice this is an outstanding effort. Buster Posey batting now with one away. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Here's the pitch to Posey. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Well, a lot of the so-called experts didn't think the San Francisco Giants would have enough offense to contend in the National League West, but little did we know that Buster Posey would come up and be inserted in the middle of the lineup and produce... He swings and nails a liner, and Kent takes care of that one. Now, as you get to this point in the game, you got to start wondering how much does he have left in the tank with the adrenaline pump and knowing he wants to come away with this shutout. Harper up now. One for two in the ballgame. Two out, space is empty. And the first pitch. Right first one. pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. Well, the pitcher going for that hole and most hitters swing up and in. He found that strike zone with a four seam fastball and he couldn't get to it. One pitch is a cut fastball, swung on and missed 0 and 2. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball, unbelievable action on that pitch. Here's the delivery. Ball. Big breaking ball misses, 1 and 2. Last ball, low for a ball, two and two. Three and two, two. two is a cut fastball that misses, three and two. Well, he throws the cut fastball up in the zone, trying to run it away from the hitter to get him to chase. He laid off, but it's dangerous throwing it up in the zone. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. And the side's retired as they head into the dugout. So they still can't buy a run. They've been held scoreless through eight. The Rockies still looking for a run. It's going to be Hernandez. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. First pitch on the way. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And that's going to be a base hit for Hernandez. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. You've got to keep the opponent close when you're behind. You've got speed on first base. They better keep them close. There's a swing towards the hole. And that one drops in for him. Wow, that is his first base hit. It has been a struggle to get. But Gary, he's lucky he just got away with a single right there. A fastball out all over the plate. He puts a good swing on it. Just doesn't drive it, so at least they limit him to a single.
Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And he's easily back to the bag. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. Billingsley with the windup. Ball. Cutter misses badly. On and over. Well, he didn't chase that one. That pitch down and away. Good movement on the cut fastball. He just laid off of it. It's a pitch with two strikes. You better be swinging at, though. Ready with a 1-0. There's a swing in contact. This one to Kemp. One away now. Now a look at last year's league leaders with runners in scoring position, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, Matt Holliday. Second, Troy Tulowitzki. Third spot, David Wright. Adrian Gonzalez, fourth. And it's Ryan Zimmerman, number five. Well, clutch hitters are hard to find. It means they have to maintain their focus and control their emotions and let the game come to them. And these guys clearly get that done. Runners on first and second with one out. Wright gets set. Here's the first pitch. Billingsley gets that one in there. And just when you thought that David Wright was having a struggling year, another 100 RBI season. The guy does know how to drive in runs, but he needs some help with that team if he's going to get them to the postseason. And that's a strike, David Wright. Then have to take a defensive stance here. The RBIs that the John was talking about, guys. He topped uh, Wright did 100 RBIs for the fifth time in his career last year. You know, it's so tough to play in New York. The expectations are so high. You look at David Wright's numbers, they should be good enough, but people expect him to be One Alex two. Rodriguez or Albert Pujols with that level of player in New York City. It's just not who he is. low and it even ends up in the dirt the pitch Ball. and he holds off of the cut fastball works it full this cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches He's not going to get the call, so he will issue the walk. Well, the pitcher's got to get his radar back in the strike zone right now if he wants to continue through this inning. Chad Billingsley is going to have to really, really work to find himself out of this mess. And he's taking a deep sigh, thinking about what to do here with the bases loaded. He can get out of it. But it's getting late in this game. He can't afford a mistake being down two already. He needs a strikeout here. Three on and one out. Kent in. First pitch. Slider misses badly with it. One and oh. Well, this broke a little bit too much out of the zone right here for a ball, but he's got to bring it back in. Rain that thing in a little bit. Hit hard on the ground to short. Got one. And there's the second out of double play. And so Chad Billingsley he heads off the field. And next it'll be the Rockies getting it going. And it's Troy Tulowitzki down to lead it off. Franco called on to do the hurling now. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, that's right down the chute. The hitter must be looking for something else. Otherwise, you have to swing at that. The pitch. Ball! Oh! And he leaves that one alone. Troy Tulowitzki. Good patience. Even count. He delivers. He makes contact, line drive. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. A chance to see where Troy Chilowitzki ended up in the rankings last season. Second batting average with runners in scoring position. 
third in batting average, and he really slugged the ball last year, ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. That ability to drive the ball into the outfield gaps and down the lines puts himself in scoring position and drives in runs. Runner on first. Here's the first pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. One. And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. That's an atom ball right there. That ball was smoke. He stung it, but right at the second baseman. One out man on first. Here's the pitch. Sinker just missed. One and oh. Well, and that'll saw his bat in two if he swings at that one. The one oh now. That swung on and flied to right. Two down. Now the State Farm leaderboard. Uh, look at those teams who had the highest average last year. The Reds number one. The Cardinals in second. The Rockies third. Fourth, the Brewers. And number five, the Phillies rounded out. One of the top hitting teams in baseball last year will be on display in this game today. And these guys, when they step out of the dugout, they're swinging the bats. These guys can put the ball in play and they all hit for a high average. Tulowitzki will lead off first. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Batting average for him last year. He wishes he had this against everybody. 395 against the Mets at City Field. On the way. Good patience. Hanley Ramirez letting it go by. Count is even. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Good rip at that one, but he misses one and two. Good patience. Hanley Ramirez letting it go by. Count is even. He's ready. The 2-2 pitch. Swung on. Liner to right. And it's in there. The tying run on board. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. And a moment now to recap our on-base percentage leaders from last year. Brought to you by State Farm. Joey Votto, number one. Second, Albert Pujols. Third is Prince Fielder. Adrian Gonzalez, fourth. And fifth best, Matt Holliday. In order to score runs, you have to get base runners, and these guys understand that. They find ways to get on. They'll take a hit. They'll get hit by a pitch. They'll take a walk. They'll do whatever they have to do to get on base and lead to a run score. Strike one to count. Two hits, 13 at bats last year off the Mets here in New York. Here it comes. And a good eye there by Matt Kemp. Stays away from it. It's even. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. The 1-1 now. There is a swing and a liner. And he's on. That's the go-ahead run. Now State Farm gives us a look at the hit leaders from last year.
And he has a chance to tie this game. Well, that's right. An extra base hit probably gives them the lead and keeps this rally going. He deals. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. The last year, he was solid. 381 against the Mets. outside ball two well this is no time right here to try to nibble on the corners you've got to throw a pitch down the middle and hope you can get the hitter to get himself out if you make a quality pitch you can get out of this inning if you don't you're going to get hurt right. cut on and missed as he was up front and it's two and one well you can tell his timing way off after seeing him swing at that four seamer Come set. Here's the 2 1 pitch. 2 1 pitch is a slider. Taking first ball, strike two. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. And he struck him out. This ball game is over. The potential tying and winning runs left on base. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. And it's that time in our broadcast where we bestow upon some lucky winner, the player of the game. Well, every time a pitcher takes them out, he'd love to be able to finish the game, Gary. But, you know, he can't complain about this one. He pitched absolutely outstanding. Turn it over to the bullpen. But the most important thing is they got the win, and this is something he can build on for the future. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. I guess it's that time again. We wrap up this 2K Sports broadcast of MLB. For John, Steve, our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Adieu, adieu.